Hey guys, it's Chris and I'm here today reacting to another Alex Rodriguez um, vlog. Uh, it's a titled ER Gets LASIK and Pregnancy Updates. I'm not really worried about Yar's eyes. I, I think he got his, his LASIK surgery and it went good, so that's good. <laughs> but I'm just really kind of here for the pregnancy, health, diet, nutrition, weight loss, all that stuff. Well, non-weight loss, that's totally not happening. Um... For all the new viewers I've gotten over the past couple of days, wow, <laughs> it's a little overwhelming in the best way. A, a lot of people have come to the channel and subbed and are showing support, and I'm very happy and excited to have new viewers. Um, really casual around here. I'm learning the whole YouTube thing. I'm learning editing and stuff like that. Right now, my reacts and vlogs are kind of bare bones they're kind of raw you know <laughs> so most people don't mind i am a former nationally registered paramedic turned stay at home proud mommy and artisan soap maker jewelry maker and that's what i do now so i just give my opinions try to give some informative information and share my crazy little life. More vlogs and stuff will be coming down the line as the weather gets nice here. So yeah, I share my own health, diet, weight loss journey, and hopefully you guys will join me for the ride. That being said, watch the videos and the content that you are interested in. If you're not interested in other things on my channel, that's fine too. Um, it is a very cold, dark, dreary day today in the northeastern part of the United States in which I hail from. So I have a nice hot cup of coffee. We are going to get into this. Alex is sped up for time. I will link her full video down below. If you hear any noise in the background, it's probably just the channel dog being a little crab or my kiddo playing his video game on the other side of the room. So... Let's get into this. Hello from me and Bruno. <laughs> it's our little afternoon routine. This is our afternoon routine, pregnancy edition. It's so, oh my gosh, it's so nice to vlog. Like this is the first vlog that's not like pre-filmed from my first trimester diaries. This is just, this is just life now. My first trimester diaries video goes up in a couple days. So you guys haven't seen the announcement yet. So it's still a secret in terms of right now. But when you're watching, it's out, it's happening. Here we are, I'm out of breath. Well. I would assume that since she has been posting on YouTube that a lot of her friends and family already know or maybe they don't watch her YouTube. I have told very few people in my real life that I have YouTube because it's like kind of a crazy thing and they might not understand it or I don't want somebody who knows me to find my channel and maybe just see a couple things and not listen to what I have to say and think that, oh, I'm secretly online just this bully that picks on fat people, and, and that's not true. But it's just something that is my own, and I keep it to myself. But for as, as large as Alex's following is, and because this is really like her job, I'd be surprised that more people in her personal life didn't know what was going on by what by way of her vlogs i uh, went to the gym this morning and took a shower and i just folded laundry and i'm having my favorite afternoon snack at the moment now with being pregnant this is a great time for her to just get used to doing those low intensity workouts are really good but just walking and swimming do a lot of low um impact more light activity, but still make it a point to be quite active. And that helps lead to a healthy pregnancy. You know, <laughs> she's having one of her favorite afternoon snacks. I'm sorry, and this is going to sound mean, but Alex doesn't need a snack. Her snacks are on her booty and her belly and all the things like she's still morbidly obese. She, she shouldn't be snacking even when she's pregnant because guess what being pregnant doesn't negate the fact that she's morbidly obese so um in my last react i definitely um kind of saw the writing on the wall that alex was going to use this pregnancy as an excuse to eat all the things and eat what she wants and I, I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to see here. 
I'm having some of these little woven wheat crackers from Whole Foods. They're like Triscuits. And then, okay. But Alex, just because they're from Whole Foods doesn't mean they're healthy. It's still a freaking Triscuit. And like, it's not, it's not the worst thing. But she doesn't need a snack. This woman, despite being pregnant, doesn't need to be eating more and adding more to her daily food intake. She actually needs to still be cutting her calorie some. Or at the very least, not eating any more than what she was and just switching out to healthier whole foods. Um, because it, it's not healthy to gain weight when you're pregnant, when you are already severely overweight. So when people, I know there are some people that insist it is not safe. It's not healthy. You have to gain weight during a pregnancy. If you're extremely overweight or obese, no, that that's just not true. And these pepper jack cracker cuts and it just hits a spot and some grapes, which I've already. Now it's not a bad snack, but like I said, she doesn't need to be snacking. Now the grapes, they're little like sugar bombs. I could do without those. Have the crackers and the cheese. Or maybe have a, a more nutritious fruit. Uh, some cherries or blueberries. Like berries you can't go wrong with. But, uh, pomegranate. I would stay away. You know, even kiwi. Stuff like that. I would stay away from the, the main high sugar fruits. Which would be the, the grapes, the bananas, and pineapple. Yeah, rinse, I've just been eating them out of the bag to my afternoon snack. My fatigue is... No joke, though. It's crazy the kind of Franken foods they're making these days. Uh, it was a year or two ago. My aunts bought my son these cotton candy grapes. And they are completely uh, manufactured food because cotton candy grapes don't exist in nature. But we tried them and they were actually freaking delicious because they they literally tasted like cotton candy. Just like cotton candy. They were so good and I loved them, but they were just sweet like cotton candy. They were a little sugar bomb. Um, they have these little teeny micro mini grapes that my son loves. We haven't seen them in a couple of years around here since the vid. Um, and they're really nice. They're teeny tiny and we take them and stick bunches of them in the freezer. And then they're like these little tiny, just icy uh, little bites and they're good. It's not good. It's not bad for a, of a snack for someone who's really fit and active growing like my kid is not just he's not a fat kid so I wouldn't suggest giving grapes to a fat kid you know stick to the to the better fruits but my son is lean and muscular and very very active so it's not too bad but um yeah, yeah, we ended up with a grape lesson. Sorry. It's getting so much better. My afternoon nausea is gone. Yeah, I didn't start getting nausea until that was one of the things that tipped us off that I might be pregnant because I started getting really nauseous by the smells of certain things. And that didn't go away until almost five, five months, five and a half months in. And I could almost never keep my prenatal vitamin down. It just, it, Mm -mm. As soon as it hit my stomach, it'd be coming back up. It's harsh. And just, I'm really, really grateful. Um, I feel like overall, there was just a period of a couple of weeks. I would say like seven, six to ten weeks. Six to nine weeks was the worst. Where the nausea started to really ramp up. And then at like ten and a half, it started to get a little better, a little better, a little better. And now we're almost at twelve and no nausea. I never threw up, but there were definitely some afternoons where I was like, the nausea was just kicking. It was just really, really Girl, bad. Oh, you're lucky. I would get really nauseous at smells and stuff. And I worked in a restaurant. I was waitressing at a local little restaurant. So that sucked, but it was the, the vitamin where I would have to try to eat something before I took it, or I would have to be beside a garbage can or something. Cause if I took that vitamin within five minutes, I was, it was just bad. That did calm down. Like I said, after about the, five and a half six month mark but ugh, it's rough it, it can be brutal um i felt just really horrible and it, like when i don't feel good physically it messes me up mentally so i was just 
a lot of a lot of days were just sad in the afternoon so it is so nice to feel more like myself again starting to get my energy back and well you're gonna go through these periods where you feel really weird and you don't feel like yourself and that's like just something that kind of happens throughout your pregnancy so i hope that she can manage that well mentally and, yeah. so i had i had lunch early today i had lunch by like 11 30 so having a little snack and somebody else i want to shout out to a lovely reactor and her lovely audience who have taken me into their family so lovingly over the past few days uh priscilla p i believe she even brought up a good point i was listening to some of her videos on alex and stuff and she brought up a good point and the point being how is alex eating so much through her surgery like since she's had the surgery the bypass and and the fact of the matter is is i think at this point i think she never really restricted that much after and that she probably started slowly stretching her stomach pouch back out immediately after the surgery as soon as she could get back on solid foods so i think it, it, the surgery is is almost the the restriction from the surgery is likely almost non-existent in alex anymore because i think she just um i think she just stretched it back out watching a little youtube i'm watching stephanie rose i feel like i ask you guys this all the time but please sorry i'm eating and talking please let me know your favorite vloggers I just love watching vloggers live their life. I don't need anything spectacular. Just want to watch people live their life. I would also love like new moms, um, like new mom vloggers who are sharing their experience with like newborns. That would be awesome. So it's also very funny because my cravings, I didn't have a ton of cravings in the first trimester. There was a big period of food aversion, which. <laughs> okay, listen, I know technically you can get cravings at any time in your pregnancy. But like I said, most women don't even know they're pregnant unless they are like like Alex and actively trying and checking the early pregnancy reading tests. Most women don't know they're pregnant until about three to four months. Uh, like I said, I was about four and a half months when I found out. So even though you don't feel good, most women don't even know they're pregnant. And here's Alex talking about Oh, my cravings, my cravings, my cravings were doing this and doing that. It's like, it's, it's, we were so right that it's going to be a theme throughout our whole pregnancy and an excuse to like eat all the things. And she can't get mad at people for saying this because look, it's already happening. Like perfect example. Most women don't even know they're pregnant at a point where you're already blaming cravings for eating more. <laughs> I've never had before. A lot of my favorite foods were just like a no-go. Um, sorry if this is a little repetitive from the first trimester diaries, but it's a little bit of an update to kick off this vlog here. But like, And I, I am glad that she is through her first trimester and that things are still good. The first trimester is the most crucial time because that is the time when the egg is developing, you know, the zygote, the embryo, all the things they call it. It's implanting. And that is one of the most prevalent times where your body is going to determine if a pregnancy is viable or if there is a problem. So your risk of, of miscarrying I, are like really the highest in the first trimester. And if you can get past that first few months, you can breathe a, a big sigh of relief. It, it can absolutely happen. You can still miscarry later on in the pregnancy, which I do not wish on her or anybody. But it's just, it, it's a it's a much better sign, uh, at least for now, um, that, that she got through her first trimester. So I'm really happy about that for her. I feel like it went from food aversion to when I did want to eat stuff, it was sweet. Like I wanted sweet. Oh, isn't that ironic that she wanted sweet? Isn't that shocking? And you know what? I, I really, it's like, I'm being like snarky, but my craving, I had one craving and it didn't even hit until about six and a half weeks, seven weeks. I stuck to my diet, which was mainly just a low food, low food, <laughs> low carb, mostly whole food diet. I, I ate mostly eggs, uh, 
uh, some sauteed like peppers and onions and eggs and stuff like that. Sauteed in some coconut oil, uh, chicken and um, broccoli and stuff like that. That was most of my diet. And I didn't eat a lot because an egg's a various different variety. Pickled eggs, hot pickled eggs, uh, boiled eggs, scrambled eggs, fried eggs. Like I ate eggs. No bread, no, like very low carb. And my doctor was great with it. And some cheese, you know, that, that was the diet. But um, my, my only craving was I just got this amazing urge to want to put maple syrup on everything. <laughs> and it was bonkers. I actually had a dream that uh, I was eating and thoroughly enjoying uh, one of those McDonald's McGriddles. So my partner started once a week making me a homemade version of a McGriddle. <laughs> and when we like once a week, we would go to this local like Legion type club, take the kids, they can get tacos. There was taco night there and I would get chicken tenders and I would bring in my purse a little jar of maple syrup and I would drizzle a little bit of the maple syrup on the chicken tenders no joke it's still one of my favorite things it's delicious it's amazing but the fact is is that was like a once a week thing or once every couple of weeks and i didn't put a lot on i just a little bit just to taste you know what i mean but the fact is is other than that i was still just eating my normal healthy diet i wasn't really craving anything there wasn't anything too insane as far as food cravings and even if i had like wanted to I, I still didn't use eat like the pregnancy as a, as a an excuse to overeat I still stuck to my diet I still walked um until my doctor no longer allowed me to walk and put me on bed rest did my stuff around my house uh and and it was kind of smooth sailing um my doctor even though i was a healthy weight i was 117 pounds when i got pregnant my doctor still adamantly told me i am going to tell you if you're getting fat and being pregnant is not an excuse to to pig out and eat all the things you don't need that much more food really so um it's no surprise that alex is using this as an excuse and oh it's the craving but really that's just not the case she should still actually be in a little bit of a calorie deficit because she still needs to lose weight and her food should be as as whole and nutritious as possible eats which i'm normally a salty person and now i'm kind of just not craving sweet anymore and back we see you eat all kinds of sweet stuff though alex like you drink all those sugary like sweet sugar-free coffees and stuff all the time to salty a little bit i don't know still obsessed with fruit in this pregnancy grapes grapes are not the best for you so skip those berries cherries that's been about it so like i said today is friday those Yarman's actually bad. getting a lasik eye surgery this afternoon in an hour so in about a half hour we're gonna head out and i'm gonna take care of him this afternoon we've been doing his eye drops um and yeah we'll see how it goes i think he's like the perfect candidate for it because he works out glasses always get like does she have those like are her cheeks like that because of the because of the the chin surgery uh, she, like I'm, I'm like not trying to be mean i'm just asking like she always looks like a squirrel who has nuts like packed into its cheeks you know like she's very puffy and in, in, in her cheeks and i didn't know if that was from that surgery or not because it really altered the shape of her face and she wasn't meant to gain weight back after she got that chin tuck because now it does look odd i think when she gets her makeup on and stuff she does look pretty that that's like crazy when you look back at her her videos from many many years ago when she first started she was gorgeous she was so pretty she was a bigger girl she wasn't morbidly obese at that point and wasn't sucked into the fat acceptance but it's just um it's really like kind of sad to see how fat acceptance has affected her as it does so many women and it's affected her health her fertility her size her mental health her appearance it's just really it's tragic sweaty and foggy um he's also in the army and he has to wear special glasses there then he wears like daily contacts and that can get like rough when he's like out arming i just think he's like the perfect candidate for it and obviously while well, he's out arming <laughs> that's funny that's cute and yeah her husband is 
does seem to to be fit and in pretty decent shape. I don't know why he isn't like on her more to lose weight. So to see, so we'll see how it goes. I'm excited to see. I've heard of so many people getting it and it's like basically from what I've seen and what they say, it's like you go in, it's really, really quick. It's hit or miss. I used to work with someone on the ambulance, a woman who had LASIK done and she still needed her reading glasses and it, it didn't do too much to change her um her eyes it's it's really an individual thing i mean it can help and it works great for a lot of people but it doesn't always work for everybody numb your eyes they do the procedure a couple minutes per eye you come home and apparently it's very stingy but you just sleep through that and then you wake up and like feel good and can see that's what it sounds like so i'll keep you guys posted on if that isn't quite in fact how it works. I don't There's know if there's nothing. anything else for me to react to in this video because I really I'm not gonna watch the whole LASIK thing. Better than a crispy grape. A crispy juicy grape. It has to have the crunch though. If there's no crunch I'm not doing it. Mm. I don't like grapes and this is weird okay because um I'm very weird about fruit like with the texture and stuff. I don't know why but I always think that grapes remind me of if you ate an eyeball. That's kind of the texture and the like burst of juice that would squirt out if he ate an eyeball so that's why i don't like grapes and i know that's really gross and weird but uh yeah that's just that's just me and where my mind goes and i'm not big on grapes i like those the flavor of those cotton candy grapes but i didn't love the texture and those little teeny tiny grapes are okay because you when i stick them in the freezer and they're like this little hard icy crunchy thing but i don't eat them um non-frozen so <laughs> weird little unasked for fact about me mm -hmm. i feel like my bob is really starting to get get long I'm trying to decide if i want to put some layers in or let it get a little longer so i can still put it in like a clock clip and stuff without i like her hair and everything i personally for her i i don't like her hair parted in the middle i i like it whenever she styles it more to the side but but that's just my personal opinion pieces falling out so yeah today and tomorrow it's gonna be mostly yarmin recovering his follow-up appointment in the morning tomorrow i'll take him to um, or I'll go with him too. I think he'll be able to see and all that just fine. And then on Sunday, I'm so excited. We have some of Yar's family coming in from out of town. Um, and then we're having some of his other family come too and just have like a little family day. I'm gonna meet a baby that I've never met before and she is so freaking cute. And then I'm gonna see my nephew who I've showed you guys before. He's so sweet. And yeah, it's gonna be such a fun, fun day with babies. And we haven't told them yet. So um, I'm not gonna post my first trimester diaries until Sunday night after. Oh, okay. So this all happened before she posted it so they wouldn't know. Okay, well, I mean, it's nice ultimately. If she got to tell them before they just learned from a YouTube video, you know, it's nice to be able to have that experience um, of of getting to tell them in person. Derby tell them in person. Um, and I'm just super excited to, you know, start to tell people. So we'll be telling people on. And I just feel bad because like, I feel like Alex's baby is just going to end up and kid is going to end up being this really privileged, spoiled, doesn't want for anything little fat kid like that i'm afraid that's like what it's gonna be like i don't like the kid's gonna have whatever it wants she has a nice home she's not afraid to spend money and buy things this kid will have everything nice at once but i i it's gonna have a problem with 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 weights and and diet and health because his mom is very hazy as far as like health at every size and um i hope she really gets out of that rhetoric and doesn't start pushing that and teaching that to her kid because the habits you you give your kid are going to be what shapes their habits for life and later on in life when they're an adult they are harder to change than if they are just used to something for life that's why I'm trying to teach my son as many healthy things as i can because um I don't want him to have to completely relearn a lot of things about food and health and 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 diet and stuff like that when he's an adult. Uh, Sunday, Saturday and Sunday. So I can't wait for that, but I just want to check in and start this vlog. I don't know. So is her her skin always really bad like that, or is that kind of like hormonal acne? I th I think her I think her skin's always really bad like that, right? It's a it's a shame because like um if she lost the weight and cleaned up her diet that would actually probably help that a lot because acne is can very much be a hormonal thing and uh being overweight is uh it messes up your hormones uh fat is not a benign substance it just sits on your body it's very estrogenic 
and um, can just wreak havoc on your hormones. Oh, random. Bruni and I are manning the couch. All right, but I will check back in later and let you guys know how his surgery went. All right, Yara's all uh, numbed up. <laughs> you guys Hi, Yara. Bye, Yara. She explained the drops. He goes back home. <laughs> the whole thing is like in and out. He's in the room for okay. the of the day. So Gary, you know, so um, we just got home. Just you can see like the eye up close. They look cool when you wake up from the nap. It's just, I'm just skipping. We started watching. <laughs> and even with your sunglasses on, it was <laughs> bright with headlights. Right. Crazy. He's open there your eyes. cool. But if free, they come in like little individual ones. But they feel good when you put them in, so that's yeah. good. His eyes were very awesome. bloodshot yesterday. Great. They look yeah, yeah, Flaps look good. On. Your eye flaps. Like, I showed him the video. Yeah, like, yeah. I couldn't get LASIK because I am very weird about my eyes and I just... I'm terrified of having them go and do like a procedure on my actual eyeball. <laughs> I can't do it. Like you sleep or awake right now? I'm fine with wearing glasses and contacts. So at the end of the day, it's I like wearing funky, quirky glasses and, and stuff like that. So I'm okay with it. But I can see why somebody like him active in the army, jobs like that, wouldn't want to have to deal with glasses. So you're watching, what was it first? Oh, gift boxes. Look how freaking cute this is, guys. This is the gift we got for our niece. These little customized baby hairbrushes. That's really cute. A nice, really like a wooden uh, brush set. That's with her nice. name on them with like a little heart. So we got like customized gifts for both of them. That came in the mailbox. It came just in time for them to come tomorrow. Um, and then I got to go get gift bags. So you do that a lot. Yeah, so this it. isn't like her baby shower. This is a um like a, a reveal party, like a we're pregnant party. Okay. Well, uh, try it. No. Oh my God. Okay. Yara and I are out to lunch, and tomorrow's St. Patrick's Day, and we both forgot. So it's um, it's very green. But have you had cereal milk before? Cereal milk? No. Do you want to try it? No. Sounds interesting though. Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys! Look how much fish came with the fish and chips. Jesus Christ! On a cracker. This is like. Do you see what I mean? Like. Oh, guys! I was craving fish. Oh, I was just craving this. My pregnancy is doing it. This looks delicious and authentic, you know, but it's just a plate of deep fried carbs with a side of coleslaw and a little bit of fish. Um, I'm sure it's delicious, but like she could have, this has, this is, this plate is probably like 1500 calories. Um, this is where you could make better choices. If you want the fries not the best choice but get ask don't get a deep fried fish get a get a broiled or grilled fish with fries on the side or skip the fries and get a salad get an extra coleslaw um or if you really just wanted the battered and fried fish just get the fish and a side of coleslaw skip the fries all together um not only is this like just really calorically dense and a ton of sodium, but all this stuff is cooked in hydrogenated seed oils. It's just, it's not, I'm sure it tastes freaking delicious, but, um, she needs to just make better choices. I definitely got dinner later and then you got chicken. I, I mean, look at the, okay, look at, look at the difference. Look at the difference. Look at his plate. Look at her plate. That is why Yar is the size he is, and that is why Alex is the size and she is. He got a small plate of chicken with vegetable hash of some kind underneath it, and Alex got this big platter of deep-fried beer-battered fish and fries, and you know what I mean? Like, he is not the pregnant one, and he's actively making the better choices. And we're sharing fries. They're truffle and they're amazing. Cool. Yeah, it, that's plenty in, enough to share, but. Oh my God. Guys, we just got back from lunch. Got so much fish for later, but I'm gonna put this. Yeah, no crap, you had some for later. Like I said, that plate was probably at least 1,500 calories, and I tend to lowball it. Um, like I said, she could have gotten a baked or broiled or grilled fish. She could still, even not just for pregnancy, but Alex in general, because she's so big and she has so much weight to lose, you can still go out and have fun and do your things and enjoy yourself. Her husband was a perfect example. He got that baked kind of fish thing, that smaller, that she she could have started picking something like that you want fish get the broiled fish or something like that um 
you know, the problem with all of these girls in girl world is this, they, they have to have instant gratification. Um, food is and shopping are both good ways of, of, of getting that. And they just don't want to tell themselves no and deprive themselves of anything. And like, spoiler, sometimes you have to. It's an air fryer for dinner. It was really good. I don't know why I was just really in the mood for that. Like I wanted their buffalo chicken dip because that's like one of my go-tos, but then that just sounded really good. And then we just stopped at the store and I got some like Easter coloring books and markers or crayons for the uh, kids coming over tomorrow. Um, so they'll have something to do. And she's got like a beautiful house and everything. She's doing very well for herself. She decorates well. Um, she has that stuff together in her life. She just, she just refuses to make the changes she needs to for her diet, for her own health. That's a, that's a, that's a shame do and then i also got gift bags for the little customized uh those are cute very springy gifts that i showed you guys for the new babies so cute i love these little bags for the little mushrooms on this one i'm a mushroom freak i love them i love the aesthetic of them we go foraging for them yes i'm totally ignoring the fact that mushrooms aesthetically often remind you of other things i'm not looking at it that way um I, I like to go foraging and actually in the next few weeks, couple of weeks here, we get to start foraging for spring mushrooms around here. Never in my life have I found a morel and I've been looking, I've been mushroom hunting for like eight years now, 10 years now. I'm hoping I find some and I will actually, we'll be doing some vlogs and sharing uh, our mushroom hunting and hikes and walks and foraging and, and, and adventures. So I'm excited about that. So yeah, and then I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> I made a couple of little Easter baskets for- Yeah, see, that's the problem is she, she can't help herself. And she, she, if she wants something, she's going to get it. If she craves something she wants to eat, she's going to have it. Um, there's no attempt at self-control. Like in Alex, I firmly believe the more I'm watching her, the more I believe is she's one of the people that Amberlynn desperately wants to be. But Amber's just like a Walmart great value brand, Alex. <laughs> and, and Amber emulates a lot of different people, but I definitely think Alex is one of them. For um, the two older kids, since these are going to be for the babies, I just don't want them to feel, I don't want them to feel left out. So I made a couple of little, uh, just little Easter baskets. These are cute. And I know, like, Easter is very centered around candy and stuff like that for a, like quite a few years now i've had my family who want like my my aunts will get my kiddo a lot of candy in his basket but i've kind of told them like i don't want him eating that much candy and honestly he likes he's a typical kid he likes his sweets he likes cookies and cake and ice cream and stuff like that he likes candy but he's not real big on it so i started pushing for easter instead of having like a very candy centered basket we'll get them a couple little gift cards in there maybe some pokemon cards some little toys or games something like that and some candy and a couple colored eggs couple some little plastic eggs with maybe coins or something inside you know uh so we can still have some of the easter candy but that the basket is not just super full of candy and it's not centered around that and then i do have stuff for us to dye eggs this year he's going to be 12 in a couple weeks but we still dye eggs and stuff it's still a lot of fun and uh just do fun stuff like that um because like we, we end up not using the candy anyways. We'll go out trick or treating. He'll get a ton of candy. He'll pick at it a little bit. And then we still have the bag of candy like eight months from now. So, but that's really good. But that's because I've really been specific about not making uh, 
every holiday about candy and sweets and like changing the theme of an Easter basket. And we don't go down the candy out. Like, and I don't even have to say anything to my son anymore. He doesn't even want to so ever since he was like three years old. He, you know, we just don't go down the candy out unless there is like something specifically we need for a, a purpose. And, and he just doesn't look at the candy out. He doesn't want to go down there. He doesn't think about it because, um, we just don't have those kind of snacks. So, so I mean, this is cute. She's got little toys and stuff like that in there. That's that's a really good way to set up an Easter basket to make it still fun for little kids, but not just a great big sugar bomb. Baskets for them, which are some little goodies. And there's like some candy on the bottom. Um, just thought it would be kind of fun. And then after everything, we want to give these to our family members as well to tell them that we are pre that's cute. pregnant. Tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. It is. I need a robe to do get ready with me since I really like that robe. It's very kimono style. That's very nice. I like that color on her too. And currently it's Sunday, the day we get to have some family over and tell them we're pregnant. I'm super excited. Uh, I, just I wonder how her mom, mom reacted. I bet her mom freaked out. <laughs> Although I, I can't imagine that she didn't call her mom right away took a body shower i forgot i had this robe it was like buried in my closet and i forgot i just love this freaking robe i have had such yeah, fun I, I, like <laughs> I, really I am such a trend follower and i will fully admit that the derf 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 avenue robes that are so popular i wanted to get one when they restocked i thought about it too long and then they were sold out again so here we are but i love this robe currently shaving my face but i already did my yeah she probably has like the little facial hairs and stuff from uh problems with hormones but it's it's very natural to get like little baby hairs on your face um, is that called microblading or microplaning or something? Whatever it is, that shaving your face, like getting all those baby hairs off, I have to do it. I'm due. It is like such a game changer, ladies, for uh, putting on your foundation and your makeup. It just lays so much better. Like I seriously invest in a good razor like this or something and get... Or, or like a professional one or go if you can if you have the money and someone to do it like a salon in your area get the the face shave oh my god it's it's such a game changer I can't believe the difference it makes I found some videos on it once like accidentally on YouTube and I couldn't believe the difference skincare my skin throughout pregnancy <laughs> it had a phase where it was doing okay in the beginning when I was using the dime skincare and like my skin was really agreeing with the dime skincare but then by the time I got to but I don't think it's just pregnancy, Alex. I think you're, I think you always have problems with your skin. It's like the end of all the products. My skin wasn't liking it anymore, which was a bummer. So I'll probably try that again when I'm not pregnant anymore because my skin liked it. I think more before I was pregnant. I think the La Roche-Posay is doing, doing the best it can right now. My skin feels a little dry though with this like weather change. So I'm using the Laura Mercier Perfecting Primer because it feels caffeine that I'm allowed to drink, but I never... Wait, this no, and the family is gonna be here around 11 and it's 9 30 so i gotta get my button gear we got up and had breakfast and just hung out i am drinking some coffee i am still drinking caffeine my doctor was like really strict he didn't allow me to have coffee like caffeine so i i had some decaf which i know still has caffeine in it but just not as much but he was really strict i wasn't allowed to get like fake nails or wear nail polish or get my hair dyed or anything he was like really strict about chemicals and stuff like that so he would have been a no-go with the full caffeine coffee that i'm allowed to drink but i never go over 200 milligrams a day so i still drink my blonde roast iced coffee and then i'll make like a matcha at home i can show you guys how i do that another day when i make it but i'm not sure what we're gonna do with the fam today because they're gonna be here like for the whole day we're gonna just do like a big family day so i'm not really sure what the plans are i also don't know i'm a makeup lover from way back and i do dramatic makeup and over the top I used to have to do that when I was a figure skater because, you know, like when you're out there, like on a stage type thing, it, it shows up better. And I like a lot of makeup now. I, I really love the. I know some people are like, oh, all the makeup is too thick and too crazy. I like a lot of makeup and I like having coverage and stuff like that. And I, even now when I do videos, I'll do maybe a little bit more of a dramatic makeup. When I stream occasionally my uh, gaming on Twitch, I'll do some dramatic makeup, do funny little quirky, uh, like uh, half-assed cosplay type makeup and stuff like that. But this is a lot of foundation. I mean, it's literally running down her face. 
Oh. know if I'm gonna record telling them. I recently let it slip to my family when I was at my grandparents. I am glad though that I got my mom's reaction on camera. That's in the first trimester. Like a bath. Yeah, so at least I got that on camera. Oh, look at this. Isn't makeup just such a fun process? Trust the process. It has been. It's funny because that robe's very kimono esque. And with as, as much of that foundation she has put on is why it looks like she's like dressing up to be a gay shot. a beautiful last like three, four days. And now today it's like raining. Let me see if it's gonna stop though. I don't think it's cold. 48. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. This is exciting. It's gonna actually get up to 60 at two cold rainy days. I'm a side sleeper. Yeah, look. I'm sleeping wow. on my right. Oh my goodness. I yeah, like it's, it's very, it's like a geisha look. I don't know why. It just, it feels better. I mean, that's random, but I don't know. All right, I'm going to speed through doing my makeup and then figure out what I'm gonna wear. Girl, blend that in. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and I like to do the contouring and stuff too. Contouring is a game changer. You can really literally change the shape of your face the way it looks with contouring and stuff like that. And us fat girls who, you know, lose our jaw lines and stuff like that, it's, it's a really nice trick to learn. <laughs> Allergies are still freaking killing me. So I do apologize if you hear the sniffles. I keep trying to hit the mute on the mic and I just keep missing. So I'm not even trying 100% anymore because I don't want you to keep hearing this that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just got one of these uh, like hair wavers, I like to do micro, like microwave, <laughs> mermaid waves. And I love it. Um, it's tricky because I have really long hair. And it's, I, I'm, my hair is the longest it's ever been. And I'm trying to uh, grow it longer. I just want to grow it longer, but I want it to be healthy. So it just takes a lot of time to actually do the wave and it doesn't hold the wave quite as much as I want because my hair is heavy but this is great it's a nice beachy look I love it um and I just have so much hair I actually just shave my sides now um you know kind of that viking look but I, I kept it up because I did it just for aesthetics but I, I keep it up now because it just it's easier to do like to to maintain my hair as far as shampoo and conditioner and hair dye it it just saves me a lot of time and money to have the sides shaved because my hair is just so thick and stuff that I still have a ton of hair and I can wear my hair down and style it and look very conservative if I want to you wouldn't even know the sides were shaved but then I pull it up and it's like that little viking look so it's fun yeah, see, I like her hair to the side more than parted down the middle for her. Th that's, you know, just my opinion. You guys, here is the outfit. It is super simple. Yeah, like that looks really cute. I like that. I like that look. I kind of like that length of hair on her. I like that style. I like that outfit too. She does look nice. Like it's, like I said, it's sad that she won't get her act together with her, her weight because, um, she, she would look really good if she lost some, God, I mean, God, even if she just lost 125 pounds or something like that. But I mean, she's always going to be in denial about food and be like a Bopo goofball. And she's always going to be like this kind of like shallow consumer, but you know, she could at least get her health in order a little bit. I took on this um, cropped white kind of muscle tee from Target and then some of my favorite pants from Urban Outfitters. Since it's going to get warmer later, I'm going to take this off and just, I prefer how it looks without the denim jacket, but it's just like an easy. I can't wait to see how fun it's going to be to maintain this very white, light colored house and like living room and stuff with, with a kid because <laughs> you're better off going with dark colors with kids because oh my God. Stains happen everywhere. Even you can't even explain how some of them happen. You know, spring outfit. I'm gonna wear my Birkenstocks because I got a pedicure. I, I had need to actually to invest in a bit of a vlogging camera this year, guys, and I think I'm going to, so I can do some better content and stuff like that. 
uh, that's coming down the pipe. I don't, I can't like afford to spend a ton of money on one, but I don't want to get a super cheap one. So if you guys know of any good cameras that are kind of like a vlogging camera, video camera, camera that takes pictures all in one within a, a good price, price range, maybe no more than like 300 bucks or around that area, put it in the comments and let me know because I am definitely up for suggestions package um so I just then obviously you. if as the channel grows if it gets bigger and i have the money and stuff like that i, I will keep investing in more and more stuff like i do want to get my living room set up so that i can do some reacts again with my face cam and um i uh, have considered getting a green screen and stuff so there are there are plans for for the uh items for the channel to help help me bring you guys better quality of content guys i posted a reel on instagram like i think she looks pretty like that i like she's got pretty blue eyes her hair looks nice i like those bobby pins i thought i'd just show you really quick um look how pretty this ring is this is the new avery ring um and then i also did throw on my miranda fry i like her nails seeing all these girls getting their nails done make me want to get mine done the problem is is I can't get really long ones and I've got little tiny little hobbit hands and little tiny nail beds so I don't know if it's worth it um I can't have my nails really long because I make jewelry for my shop and I'm holding and clasping and like gripping little teeny tiny o-rings and chain and and beads and and really long nails make that very difficult <laughs> Of here, um, people it's large. I, have, I know some Jackson bracelet, uh, crystal Alex. in the back, and this new one here called. And I was Liston necklace. It's so pretty. It's like a thick, um, beaded necklace. I do like that. I like that. It's simple. But I so like I think it. it looks really cute with the other beaded pieces. I admittedly admit that I like tacky stuff, but that's not tacky. That's actually really nice. From them, you know how much I love them. Some flip. Oh, look at this baby! Look at those eyes and those chubby cheeks. Oh my goodness, that baby has a lot of hair too. Oh, how cute! <laughs> hey you guys back in my spot on the couch with my afternoon snack. oh god okay so this is not a bad snack that's a lot of peanut butter but if she would cut her calories back so that she was losing a little bit of weight or god even at worst maintaining okay like just don't gain weight um, this is not a bad snack. This is a good snack. Uh, it's better than like potato chips and candy and cookies and pie. Um, I just don't think she needs to be adding this in to what she's already eating. Um, you know, with the excuse of, oh, I have to eat more because I'm eating for two. Like, no, cut back on what you're eating and replace something else you're eating that's not necessarily healthy, like protein pasta with this and th this this is a good snack <laughs> more fruit um honey crisp apple with peanut butter a little protein a little fruit i like this better than the grapes but like i said she sh she shouldn't be adding this on to what she's already eating because she's already eating too much on the daily mm. these are my favorite plates i'll link them on amazon they have yeah, a i like those but for dipping it's perfect for like i did recently just get an amazon affiliate link um somebody told me i should actually so i did so i link stuff down below so if there's any links or anything i make sure i try to write that it's an amazon affiliate link too but if you want to check out stuff that i recommend or that i'm using or whatever um it's that my shop my my soap shop information is that's all down in the com you know in the in the description box um my shop doesn't have anything new in it right now it doesn't have any soaps and stuff there will be stuff being added for the spring so i will definitely keep you guys updated on that if you want to support the channel by way of purchasing something from the shop then that's awesome but it's, it's down there for those of you who would be interested in looking at it. And my uh, jewelry and my keychains and stuff, I have changed up the style quite a bit. So actually, once I get my items made and get new stuff stocked, I'm probably going to clearance 
the stuff that if you went to the shop site now that you currently see, that stuff will probably all be clearanced because I have little changed tendies, little sauce or this. <laughs> it's, I don't know. I love these little plates. I use them all the time. So it is now Monday. I want to give you guys a little update on how yesterday went. I did not vlog yesterday. I'm sorry. Looking back, I really wish I did because when we told Yara's family, some of them that were here, we didn't get to tell his whole family in person, but um, the ones that were here when we told them, the reaction was <laughs> so awesome. I'm sure they were really excited. Like, you know what I mean? And like I said, I hope, I hope it works out. She's going through the things and the announcements and stuff. Um, I just hope because I know she has fertility issues that um, that everything continues to go well. Uh, we had given the gifts to the parents of the two babies, um, my two sisters-in-law, we had handed to them and they like love their presents to the kids. We were all kind of chatting for me. I'm like, oh, we have, um, we also just got you guys like some celebratory drinks here. And we handed it to them and they were like reading it. And at first um, my sister-in-law was saying how she thought it was just like, cause it says the word baby on it. So she thought it was just like, congrats on your baby. And then when they actually read, we've been keeping a little secret, we're having a baby. My other sister-in-law screamed, <laughs> like shook the house. It was awesome. That's good. I'm going to end it here, guys. I don't think there's anything else. There's only five minutes left. I'll link this below, like I said, as I always do. Um, It's really good she got to tell her family and that she's she's doing well and stuff. Like I said, she really just needs to be on point with her nutrition. She needs to actually still cut her calories a little, a little bit, try to lose a few pounds during the pregnancy or at least maintain. I know she's going to gain. We know she's going to gain. But this is just what I would like to see. And I would like to see her replace some of her current little snacks and stuff like that with the healthier like the apple and peanut butter and stuff we saw here at the end um not tacking those snacks on to ever like the same amount she's currently already eating but anyways um i hope you guys like this one i do have some more there's so much going on in girl world now i literally can do reacts and have stuff coming out every single day sometimes two videos a day so it's it's really just a jumping time right now in the girl world so i hope you like the content i will see you guys in the next one i'm gonna try to get this one out today and there will be more from the other girlies all the girlies coming down the pipeline like i said uh for now you can uh bank on me having some video out pretty much every day whether it be Alex or Amber or Fat Acceptance or Foodie or Anna or uh something reviewing like reviewing of the keto diet or weight loss or weight loss success story something like that so um busy busy times and I do like that though so anyways I hope it's Sunday it will no it's Saturday here um Hope you're having a good weekend so far and I will see you guys in the next video.